What shall I do today, today, oh? I will lift up my voice in praise. What shall I do today, today, oh? I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, all I know, you are always here with me. Almighty God, Almighty God, Almighty Father, you're my all I know. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, I will praise your name. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say, when trouble comes my way, I will praise your name. Father God, thank you so much for this wonderful experience, which was the reading of this book, You Speak Our Love Languages by Gary Chapman. It was such an humbling and um, exciting assignment for me to do review and um to day by day review one love language and share that on all my different platforms and i'm sorry for the one day i tried to dilly dally and uh, i'm grateful the, for the lessons i learned on that day so today is all about summarizing concluding and um, i thank you for that and um, i'm so grateful for the holy spirit's gift in me and for all these talents which i have Ah, I hope somebody somewhere has been touched by this book and all I have shared and that so many more people are going to equally be touched and moved to check out the book for themselves or relate to you in their own unique way and be able to understand that we all have our ways and that you speak all of these different love languages and that we need to show each other more grace as we are going to see. In the last parts I am going to be looking at in passing as I wrap it all up. I ask you all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so hi everybody. Um, so you can do catch-ups, right? I put the links there to all the five um all the five episodes of each love language. Okay, so um it's all about wrapping up and the very first thing is that he says that we have to learn other love languages we cannot just stick on our love language because everyone speaks a different love language and if we want to relate well with one another then we should be able to you know receive their own way of expressing love and also speak to them in their own way you know you don't want to speak to somebody in a way that they cannot understand you don't speak english to a chinese and expect them to understand it as well as if you tried some mandarin now and then we got that different seasons in life he says that in ecclesiastics there's a time for everything so there's a time when he's more on um, in tune with physical touch or with words of affirmation he's a great i am there's a time when he just wants you to sit quiet spend some time with him stop running all over the place there's a time where run all over the place, feed my sheep, um, lead them, you know, whatsoever you do to the least you do unto me. There's a time for gifts. Bring your gifts to the altar. And if you remember that you have a problem with your brother, leave the gifts there and go make up with your brother. So all of those, it's good. So we need to learn. And so in his chapter 8, he talks about different um, people who learn different love languages people he has worked with people he has counseled or people who just reach out to him to share his experiences and um, that was fascinating how someone who for example thought that they can never sit down to spend more than 15 minutes praying what is that with god now they were able to um sit down and spend more than 15 minutes 30 minutes something i have come to agree on is that when you put your hand on the plow you don't know the direction in which god is going to lead you and use you and all of that somebody shared an experience he said god take only my smoking god took away everything that was actually nagging at her being a thorn in her life and 
flesh kind of and stuff like that things that she herself had an issue with such as the the, the her drug addiction but she wasn't yet ready to let go because the little high that she got and stuff she was like no i don't want to let go of this one so um but then when god took all of that she was like father thank you i didn't surrender all of this but you just took all of them because you saw that they were not good for me so yes we have to be willing to open up completely the next thing he talked about was getting out of your comfort zone you know once i was working with someone and then they said um uh, she said that what that's my way that's my way that's her way of life that's her way so either people get used to her way or they leave her alone but you cannot live life like that and i know i'm comfortable living like this but you are living with people you're not an island so you have to keep trying to adjust to other people's love languages and then uh, i think that you're also going to love it the way it um it, it materializes for you i'm happy that i can speak all five love languages and i can receive two from people who speak all five love languages and i can relate with god in um, each of those ways and it's that's grace right so uh, we have to really um, try our best the last thing he talks about in his 10th chapter because getting out of your comfort zone is chapter 9 and in his 10th chapter he says whatever the language let love prevail it is all about love as i was praying the other day jesus said do it out of love and when you do it out of love then they will know that you are his disciples and if it's not out of love then you are just an empty simba you are in gong so it must be out of love if it's not out of love don't say you are doing it in his name so that is very good so i thank you father um for this beautiful opportunity i am so grateful for it and uh i know that love can sometimes be tough love can sometimes be painful yes like when uh, um, god chastises us when we, we we do things that are not pleasing we do things that cause um, um cause some pain and some grief to others well the consequences we will have to bear them he will let us go through that out of love but yep if it's not out of love then it's not good so I just want to um, encourage anyone who is on this journey of discovery because that is what it is all about. Discovering. If you already know your love language, good for you. If not, um, take some time. You can find a lot of things on, on Gary Chapman online, right? And his love language theory. So discover your love language. It can help you in the way you relate, even with, you know, your family, your siblings, your spouse, your all of that. And above all, with God. And then it is going to help you to stop judging other people, even children of God, Christians. No, don't. It's not for you to judge them. Whether they are worshipping correct, whether they are doing this, forcing people to do all of that. We don't need to do that. God gave us freedom. He gave us free will. It is there in the Bible. So it's not for you, whether you are who, and to think that if they are not doing it this way, then they are not doing it right. Let God convict them. And I think that he does that. So, um... I just wanted to wrap this up in this way and to say, well, thank God for everything. Um, it was such a wonderful um, reading experience. God speaks your love language. How to experience and express God's love. So it's not just about experiencing, it's about expressing. Two ways, right? Okay, everybody, take care. Thank you so much, Father, for this opportunity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say amen. Mm -hmm.